Hi right, guys, so this is my full review of Carbon ROM on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Of course, this is my AT&T variant, but again, this ROM works with Verizon, Sprint, and T-Mobile as well. Actually, the T-Mobile is the same version as this, so just a little heads up. So let's go ahead and jump into Menu, Settings, scroll down to About Phone, and as you see right there, we are running on Android 4.2.2. Now you can change the model number to where it reflects your actual device, but the GT7105 is the international LTE model. So if you don't want it to say that, just change your build.prop. Not that big of a deal, doesn't take too much effort. And as you see right here, let's go back up to the top. Carbon ROM has a ton of settings. So kind of like Rootbox, actually it's basically the exact same thing as Rootbox. I noticed this did get a little bit better battery life than when I was running the root box ROM. So I'll get to the battery after this, but let's go to interface. So this is kind of like AOKP. Actually, it kind of is, basically. Now you have your care label, your notification drawer style, which is the transparency, or you can have a background. I choose to leave it, you know, kind of how it is with a the theme. See, it is a little bit transparent, actually. So turn Wi-Fi off and get rid of that so now if you go under transparency settings this is where you can set the transparency for your navigation bar and also for your status bar if you wanted to now, notification shortcuts are swipe over these down here at the bottom which are my favorite feature I haven't seen this on any ROM yet but again I've been running this ROM for like a week and a half so but see I have carbon which is Twitter I have my camera Gmail plume for Twitter and Facebook you can set like a color overlay so it matches your theme, which these match, you know, top of the status bar actually. But if we go down here, this is the customized, like, you know, shortcut icon color on top. So it's like a white, can't really see it through the camera that well, but it's like a white gray sort of color. And also you can set all your custom shortcuts. So you can choose a number. You can have all of the 16, but I don't know why you'd have 16. And also you can just clear them. So let's go down. You do have Pi. I do not use Pi. I do not really mess with anything that has to do with Pi because I have the on screen buttons. But again, this is Pi. The option is there. And also, you know, if you want, don't want it on the right side, you can long press on one of these little plus icons and it goes to whichever side you want it on. So, pretty neat feature. And if we keep going, you have the recent RAM bar. So you press and hold home, and that just got really bright. Sorry about that, but you don't really need to read my Gmail and stuff anyway. So. Um, but you see the recent RAM bar at the bottom. Maybe you don't see the little RAM bar right there. Let's go back. I should turn down my brightness a little bit. And might make it easier for you guys to actually see this. Now, you do have the dual panel, which is like when you have the settings, you know, you have partial over here, and then whichever you click, it expands into the other mainframe window. Now the exposed mod is kind of like, you know, paranoid Android. This is on Rootbox. You change the DPI of a custom app. You know, if you want it in tablet mode, you don't want it in tablet mode, stuff like that. And also they have a Netflix workaround. So if you do have an issue with Netflix, you know, of course you use that. And if we keep going, we have a show Wi-Fi network name. You can wake up on charger. So when you plug it in, if you don't want your phone screen to turn on because you know you plugged it in, you can, you know, uncheck that and it won't. And also, you know, you have your CRT screen off and on, which is this. See the old style TV type of, you know, effect thing? I kind of like it. It looks pretty neat, you know. Now, under lock screen, screen security is just where you can change the lock if you want to have, like, a pattern or anything like that. Background, I just leave it as the wallpaper that's on my home screen because I'm not that creative. Um, Let's see. Battery status, you can have that on there. It'll show, like, underneath your, uh, your widget. You know, you have your text color, of course. You have your clock widget, which is the Cronus clock widget. You can have your weather. You know, you can just customize it. Not going to get too much into that because, like I said, this is basically everything from a root box. But some things that have changed are the, you know, slider shortcuts. So, you see, I have camera and I have Twitter. And then, of course, you just unlock. You can have up to five, you know, if you just use that. But if you want eight, you can, of course, check, you know, show up to eight. And these shortcuts... Like, say, I'll just add one for you guys. Um, let's go to camera. So if I lock it, 
and unlock it. These shortcuts show up underneath your widget box. I don't know what you, I just call it a widget. But they show up. If you have, you know, as many as you have, they expand across, which is a pretty neat feature. You can also change the icon. So if, if you just tap on the actual picture of it, you can change your icon for it. I don't want it though, so I'm going to disable that because I have the shortcut at the, you know, with the ring. Now you can also enable long press, so you can have up to like 16 if you want. Maximize widgets is when, you know, you've seen how the widget was smaller. If you check that every time you unlock your screen, it'll be, you know, in the big view. I guess that's what you call it. The widget carousel. I have an honor box, so it's kind of hard to press my... But the widget carousel, bring this down so it's easier to see, is this little uh, 3D effect, which is, I like it. It looks pretty sweet. So I like it. And then the page hints are those little bars on the side that you've seen. And button actions. You can customize button actions. Say if you want, you know, menu to play the previous song and you want the back button to play the next song and you want the home button to you know, activate torch. Pretty neat features. And navigation bar. Of course, the Note 2 screen is huge. So you can have navigation bars if you wanted to. I choose to use the, you know, actual physical buttons. But you just turn this on and it's pretty self-explanatory actually. <laughs> so I'm not going to go too much into it. You can choose the colors, transparency, and everything like that. I'm not really going to go too much into it, like I said. Performance, I have set CPU, but this is where you can overclock it up to 2 gigahertz. Bam. Crazy. Like, that is just... What phone? By the time you, you get done playing a game on 2 gigahertz, you're on fire. <laughs> I'm joking, but... Now, the power menu, long press the power button. And I just mostly put, you know, screenshot. If you expand the desktop, it hides the navigation and the... <laughs> sorry, backwards. Hides the status bar and the navigation bar. Go back. And power widget. The power widget is... These. These are the power widgets from Cyanogen Mod, which I like these better than... You know, like over here. Because on this side, you have these and then you have your apps. So you have everything that you really want over here. So I can quickly enable Wi-Fi, data, Bluetooth, and GPS, you know, my sound, because I have to put it on vibrate for school, and also my torch. And also have my custom apps down there, so. Now, you can see the brightness slider location. You can put this on the top if you don't want it on the bottom. But this is where you choose your widget buttons. So you see how you have tons of options for those, so I mean, you know. Now, quick settings is, you guessed it. Go up here. You know, the ones on the side, the blocks. Of course, you, you can enable the same exact toggles that you can enable on the other, these ones. So, you can enable the same toggles, but these ones, like, they're kind of picture and stuff, so. You can change the toggle order and the toggles per row. You see that I have four. And fast toggle is if you pull it down on the right side. Well, you choose which side you want, but. So, if I drag it down on the right side. Just went to buy it pulls down my notifications so yeah <laughs> oh, I'm sorry now under status bar this is where you can change the battery icon style which I don't know if you notice this but they have like a dotted circle now which I found actually pretty neat so let's see if I can zoom this in now I'm not sure how well you can see that I'm not sure if it's gonna fo oh, it did focus but it's like a circle with dots see it I thought I think it looks pretty neat zoom back out I think it looks pretty neat it's not the AOKP one and it's not the size mod it's kind of like a mixture of both but you can choose the colors of everything you can also choose the animation speed as it's charging so it's, you can change everything about this now the date and time again change <coughs> sorry my throat's dry you can change everything about this too you know, see how the day, <laughs> my bad, I have the day, I have the time, and I have the a.m. p.m., see right there, it's p.m., and I also have it where if I tap on the clock, it goes to my alarms. You see, I had long pressed on it, but I don't have anything for long press, so it didn't do anything. And if we keep going, we have brightness control and notification count, which if I had more than one Gmail, they'd just show up there, so. And of course, we have our theme chooser, and I am using the dope theme. I recommend checking that out, it's pretty sweet. Let's go down to battery. So you see 11 hours with 
two hour screen on time and I'm at 24%. So I mean, it's not the best, but I have my brightness on full brightness, so it doesn't really help. Now, one thing that I would choose this over than the root box ROM is under sound mode, we have the expanded volume panel. So this is the expanded volume panel. You can control all your volumes with this. In Rootbox, they only have the expandable, which, again, may not be a big deal for you guys at all, but it I like that feature. So personally, it's just there. Now under Advanced, you know how in touch with you have the custom you know screen modes. Well, that's this. You can you know it's there. <laughs> I don't really recommend using negative because it just inverts the colors. But it also messes up your screen if you you know use that for too long. Backlight timeout. If you want never, your buttons always stay on. See mine didn't turn on, but now they turn on. And they will never turn off. But I'm gonna set that back to default. There we go. And haptic, this is just where you can mess with the vibrator intensity. You do have your signage mod profiles. I never use, but then let's go back. Now I don't think I'm missing anything, but we go to wallpapers. Again, don't think they have any wallpapers, so I don't really think I'm missing anything. But everything works. I have not had any issues. I've actually I had an issue with data dropping. Like it shows that data is connected, but if you reboot the phone, it works out. And I don't know if it's just me where I'm at, but that happened to me. And it has rebooted a, you know a few times, but I am running the latest nightly from the 21st. So this is the latest build. I will put a link in the description to I don't if they have an XDA thread, I will put a link in the description for that. But I get all of my builds off goo.im. What I do is I go to Goo Manager. I just download Goo Manager, browse compatible ROMs, and I go to Carbon. Since this is a T0 LTE. And see, I just download my carbon from here. We see the latest, I am running the latest build as of right now. You just click that download and flash the 1212G apps. If you don't know how to do that, you're out of luck. You shouldn't be flashing a ROM. But, <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that to people. But this ROM has been very smooth. I highly recommend it. I love this ROM so much. I've been running it for a while. Rootbox is basically the exact same thing. Liquid Smooth, basically the exact same thing. But they just have different names. And I'm running Carbon ROM while using Carbon for Twitter. So why not, right? If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see, you know, any did I, if I missed a feature, you want to see anything else, leave a comment below. I'll check it out and should have another video up, you know, soon if I miss, you know, like a certain feature that you guys really want to see. And most importantly, S Pen does work. You can set custom features, so if you swipe, you know, you can go back, forward, whichever you want. You can set custom features if you wanted to put that back and also if you don't like if you don't have a custom app to let you draw I recommend downloading something like sketchbook which see here you do have a lot of custom app actions so you can change well, basically everything and just say yeah so it says like I know that's really bright I should probably turn down my brightness actually but if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see any more videos about this phone, Galaxy S3, Nexus, anything, leave a, you know, just subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.